Hello everyone, welcome to the daily newspaper analysis brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy. We hope everyone is doing good. So without much delay, let's get into our discussion. So before moving to the discussion, there is an important announcement from Shankar IAS Academy. Shankar IAS Academy's pre-storming UPSC Prelims Test Series 2025 Batch 2 will be starting on 5th October 2024. We know that prelims is getting tougher after every year. So join this, so join pre-storming and boost your prelims preparation. Now we will see the articles one by one. The first article is Bangladeshi infiltration is changing demography of Jharkhand region, ST panel. This article is taken from the newspaper, The Hindu. The second article, second monkeypox case in Kerala, UAE returnee test positive. This article is taken from the newspaper, Indian Express. The third article, electronics to solar equipments to steel, India grappled with the China shock 2.0. This article is taken from the newspaper, The Indian Express. So without much delay, Let's get into our newspaper's discussion. Look at this newspaper article taken from the Indian Express. Second monkeypox case in Kerala, UAE returnee test positive. So recently the Kerala has reported two monkeypox cases and the second case is confirmed that it is clade 1B infection which is deadliest in the monkeypox infection. And uh, recently the World Health Organization also declared monkeypox as a public health emergency of international concern. So let us discuss more about monkeypox in this background. First, we will start with the basic. What is monkeypox? It is a zoonotic disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It was first identified in monkeys in the year 1958, thereby it got the name monkeypox. But this monkeypox has a relation with the smallpox because both belongs to the same family that is variola virus. Coming to the transmission of this monkeypox, it can be transmitted in two ways. First one is human to human transmission that is transmission from an infected person to healthy person that can occur through body fluids, respiratory droplets or contaminated material. And the second way of transmission is zoonotic transmission that is here the infection will be transmitted from infected animals to humans through bites, scratches from the infected animals. We already said both the monkeypox and smallpox belongs to the same family. Thereby it shows almost a similar symptom. But the monkeypox symptoms are comparatively less severe than the smallpox. Both infection shows same symptoms like rashes, respiratory issues, high fever, vomiting, body pain, etc. But the monkeypox is less severe than the smallpox. We don't have a particular vaccine to treat monkeypox. Thereby, we are using smallpox vaccine to deal with the monkeypox because both belongs to the same family. Therefore, therefore smallpox vaccine provides 85% protection against the monkeypox. Recently, this monkeypox cases has been rising and we know that the World Health Organization has declared it has a public health concern. So, it can also impact the social and economic life of people. How it will impact the social and economic life of people? First one is, it will disrupt the healthcare infrastructure. For example, the rising cases of monkeypox will put severe strain in the hospitals, especially underdeveloped or developing countries. Thereby, the health infrastructure will face problems such as lack of doctors, lack of beds, lack of medicine availability, etc. Coming to the economic impact of this monkeypox, it includes high health care cost. It will affect regions which are economically backward. And second economic impact will be disruption of travels. This will also reduce the revenue from abroad. At the same time, it will also affect the movement of goods and services. And third one is workforce absenteeism. This is mainly due to the isolation procedure to treat the workforce. If a person got infected, he will be isolated from work or his daily life for a period of time as a part of treatment. And this, for, this will result in workforce absenteeism. And the third one is impacting livelihood in endemic areas. For example, in initially, this monkeypox was endemic to Central Africa and West Africa. Therefore, for people who are living close to uh, areas inhabited by the animals and their life will be significantly affected due to the outbreak of the monkeypox virus. In the beginning, in the beginning, we said that WHO declared monkeypox as a public health emergency of international concern. And it was declared in the year 2022 July. What was the reason behind that? The reason was a sharp rise of monkeypox cases outside the endemic regions such as West Africa and Central Africa. And at the same time, the world was facing a problem of lack of widespread immunity and public awareness about the mpox virus. This is the reason behind the declaration made by WHO. And because of this lack of widespread knowledge or immunity about this mpox virus, other regions became more vulnerable than the endemic region to the mpox virus. What are the responsive measures that we have taken internationally to deal with the mpox issue? As a part of response measures, WHO coordinated international efforts for surveillance, risk communication and access to vaccines. Because this was very essential because for a very long time, this mpox virus was endemic to Central Africa and Western Africa. But since the, since the 2020, 
this virus started spreading to other regions of the world therefore who took the responsibility of international coordination for surveillance risk communication and vaccine access what was the impact of this response measures the declaration aimed to raise awareness and strengthen global responses to limit the outbreak and followed by that countries adopted stronger public health interventions including contact tracing isolation protocols and targeted vaccinations what was the response of india followed by the outbreak of monkeypox virus india reported its first monkeypox virus case in july 2022 followed by that national center for disease control and the ministry of health issued guidelines on case management infection control and public awareness and the efforts were mostly focused on quarantine surveillance and awareness campaigns especially in airports and the healthcare providers so in this topic monkeypox we discussed the basics about the monkeypox its way of transmission how it is impacting the social and economic life of the people and what is the similarity between monkeypox and smallpox and then we discussed the declaration of monkeypox as a public health emergency of international concern by the who and its impact and what was the response of india followed by the first monkeypox case in 2022 so in this background try to answer this prelims practice question the question is consider the following statements regarding mpox statement 1 mpox is caused by a virus belonging to the same family as the virus that causes smallpox statement 2 the primary transmission of mpox to humans is through respiratory droplets statement 3 there is no vaccine available for mpox strip which of the statements given above is or are correct option a one only option b one and two only option c two and three only and option d one two and three the correct answer is option b one and two only therefore the statement 3 is incorrect the statement 3 is no vaccine available for mpox virus actually the statement is extreme at the same time it is wrong because we are using smallpox virus to treat the monkey pox and it is almost 85 percentage efficient so the statement 3 goes wrong here so with this understanding we will move to the next article look at this newspaper article bangladesh infiltration is changing demography of a jharkhand region say scheduled tri panel this newspaper article says that in a recent report submitted to the union home ministry by the national commission for scheduled tribe has asserted that bangladesh infiltration is taking place in jharkhand and it has significantly changed the demographic structure of sandal pargana which is known for its rich tribal culture and it also has affected and changed the tribal life in the central india we know that india especially the central part of india is known for its rich tribal culture but the current bangladesh infiltration or migration has affected their daily life as well as their customs and their identity so let us discuss more about this article in this discussion we are going to focus on the national commission for scheduled tribes and the current demographic challenges in jharkhand let's begin with the national commission for scheduled tribes we know that india is a diverse nation it is also known as a salad bowl therefore to safeguard the rights and interest of sc and the st communities in india we had a combined commission that is national commission for scs and sts it was established in the year 1990 and after that we noticed that there is a significant difference between the rights needs and interest of scs and st communities thereby in the year 1990 for better implementation of welfare measures for tribal communities in india we established a separate ministry that is union ministry for tribal affairs but later there was a proposal for better implementation and better safeguard of the tribal communities there was a proposal for the bifurcation of the national commission for scs and sts to establish a separate national commission for scheduled tribes and as a result through the amendment of article 338 of the indian constitution we established the national commission for scheduled tribes and that is the amendment is 89th amendment act and currently the national commission for scheduled tribes is a constitutional body established to safeguard interests and rights of scheduled tribes moving on to the functions of the national commission for scheduled tribes the first function is advisory role it advises the government on policies related to the welfare and development of scheduled tribes and ensures their protection against discrimination and exploitation and second function is safeguarding rights that is the national commission that is the national commission for scheduled tribe ensures the proper implementation of constitutional safeguards legal protections and government programs to support the scheduled tribes and the third function is inquiry or investigation that is the commission investigates or inquire inquires into violations of rights or issues related to the sts and also recommends corrective measures and the fourth function is reports to the government the national commission for scheduled tribal that is the national tribal commission submits annual report to the president of india on the effectiveness of measures taken for the protection and development of scheduled tribes in india the last function is evaluation that is the commission will evaluate the progress of various central and state government programs aimed at the welfare of the scheduled tribe 
and also suggest measures for improving the taken programs moving on to the second part that is the current demographic challenges or problems in jharkhand the first problem is declining tribal population like i said the jharkhand is, and the central india is known for its rich tribal culture but currently the tribal population is facing a decline the scheduled tribal population in jharkhand comes around 26 percentage of the total population in jharkhand but what are the reasons behind this decline the first major re- reason is outward migration for better employment and opportunities to other states as well as to other countries and the second reason is land alienation and urbanization and this has resulted into displacement of indigenous tribal people from their from their own land and the second problem is migration and infiltration the article itself was about it that is migration from other regions uh, especially from bangladesh or other parts of india to jharkhand as a part of as a part of industrial work or mining has significantly affected the demographic balance in jharkhand and thereby the tribal population has become a relatively has become relatively reduced particularly in regions like sandal pargana and the third major issue is economic migration and urbanization that includes labor migration that is migration from jharkhand that is migration from the jharkhand for better opportunities and employment will result in weakening traditional socio cultural fabric of the tribal communities lived there and the second is the urbanization impact like we said it also it will affect the the demographic balance in that region because due to the urbanization for industrial work because the jharkhand is located in central india which is which is on chota nagpur plateau which is known for rich minerals therefore it is a suitable place for uh, industries so as a part of this industrialization it will lead to urbanization therefore people from other regions especially the industrial workers and mine workers from other regions of india will migrate to regions like jharkhand therefore it will eventually results in marginalization of the indigenous groups in the jharkhand state and the next major problem is erosion of language and culture that includes cultural threat for example the people the indigenous people in jharkhand or in the central india are migrating to other regions for better opportunity and employment but at the same time due to the industrialization due to the urbanization the people from other region in india are migrating to jharkhand therefore this this type of migration has resulted into cultural and linguistic erosion as a result we can see there is a decline in the native traditional languages such as sandali mundari and ho and the second major problem associated with this with this is the dominance of other languages because we know that jharkhand is a diverse with this rich tribal population and they are speaking different tribal languages and some of the languages even don't have a script but recently due to the this urbanization and this over migration that is urbanization and this over migration the influence of the tribal language in the region has reduced and therefore it got replaced with the other major languages such as hindi and bengali and the next major problem is gender imbalance even though the central india is known for its industrial activities the social and economic progress of this region has a still lagging behind due to various reasons and jharkhand is one of the states that is facing such social and the demographic challenges and that includes and that includes gender imbalance too that means jharkhand is currently facing problems such as low female literacy limited healthcare access and employment opportunities in the rural area and the and the underdeveloped health infrastructure in the jharkhand has resulted into high maternal mortality rate this further this further exacerbate gender disparity in the state of jharkhand so in this topic we discussed the basics about the national commission for st and its origin and then we discussed the demographic challenges in jharkhand currently so in this background try to answer this prelims practice question the question is which of the following tribal community belongs to jharkhand the communities are sandal ho munda mahili and birohar select the code given below the options are 1 2 3 and 4 option b 2 and 4 option c 2 and 5 and option d 1 2 3 4 and 5 it is a factual question so the answer is all of the above that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 all these tribal communities belongs to the state of jharkhand and other regions of central india so with this we will move to the next article look at this newspaper article taken from the indian express electronics to solar equipment to steel india grapples with the china shock 2.0 this article is talking about how india got affected due to the surge in chinese import that is we have to note in the year 2023 2024 the chinese import has crossed dollar 100 billion and this is not only a problem in india the chinese attempt to dominate global market particularly in the field of electronics steel and solar equipment has raised a tension about dumping and other economic problems across the world so let us discuss more about this so before moving into the discussion we have to understand about a concept that i mentioned in the beginning that is known as dumping we have discussed this already but for a clarification uh, uh, we will see it again there are two countries option 
country A and country B. China is a marketing hub. They are a manufacturing hub too. They are very good at producing bulk of products at very low cost. Therefore, imagine that country A and country B. So, country A is producing a mobile phone for example at rupees 100. But country B will be producing the same mobile phone but there will be a quality difference but at the rate of 25. Therefore, due to the low cost, the country B will export a bulk of mobile phone to country A and this will disrupt the local market for the domestic produced mobile phone in the country A and this will result in other economic problems such as job loss. So, this is what will happen if a country started exporting their products on a large scale at a low cost to another country and that is why we are putting certain restrictions on import. So, as a result, we have to see what are the impact of this Chinese shock that is large scale import from China. So, the first major impact was tariff rate that is as a result of this large scale Chinese import nations such as USA has raised tariff rate for electric vehicles for example nearly 100 percentage for solar cells the tariff rate hiked to 50 percentage and for other items like steel aluminum electric vehicle batteries and uh, for some minerals the tariff rate is around 25 percentage but the ch we have to note that china is attempting to dominate the market through electric vehicles el electric vehicle batteries and some minerals that includes critical minerals too therefore how it will impact india it will impact not only india the global effort to achieve a green development or a renewable development we can see due to the tariff rate hike in particularly in electric vehicles electric vehicle batteries solar cells will affect india's target of achieving 500 gigawatt renewable energy capacity by 2030 india is just an example moving on now we are going to see the anti subsidy measures taken globally and its impact globally nations including india have gone for a new wave of anti subsidy measures to prevent the job losses due to the china shock that that started after china joining the world trade organization since early 2000s and we have to note that in the year 2024 itself india launched around 30 anti dumping investigations against china and what will be the impact of this large scale import or the china shock we have said that due to the dumping the domestic manufacturing centers or institutions will be affected here also the businesses the particularly the indian business will be harmed due to the predatory practices of china aimed at eliminating competition within india and also outside india we saw that in the year 2024 itself india launched nearly 30 anti dumping investigations against china but still china is an important trade partner for india we have to note that since the last decade since the beginning of the last decade the trade relation between china and india has grew significantly and coming to the import from china we can see that we can see that between 2005 6 the import rate stood around dollar 10 billion but coming to the 2015 16 it comes around 61 billion so there is almost a growth of 100 billion import in the chinese 100 billion in the chinese import and we can also see that from 2015 to 2022 the bilateral trade relation between china and india surged by 90 percentage with an average annual growth rate of 12 percentage and we have to note that in the year 2022 the trade between the two nations grew by 8.4 percentage grew by an year on year 8.4 percentage and that resulted into touching the trade growth of dollar 136 136 billion and this is consequently 136 billion that means that means surpassing the 100 billion dollar mark for the second consecutive year but we have a very good trade relation with china but overall the trade relation between india and china has been growing since the last decade and it the growth is growth is tremendous but at the same time from indian point of view we are facing a trade deficit with china that means if a, if two nations are trading the trade should be balanced that means import and export should be balanced but in the case of indo chinese trade relation india is in a state of deficit so we will see some of the statistics related to that we have to note that in the year 2022 in the second year the india chinese trade relation marked a growth of over dollar 100 billion but at the same time india was in a state of deficit of dollar 101 billion and we can also see there's an in spit of that and we can see in spit of that that import from china has been increasing from in spit of that we can see the import from china has increased by 118 percentage that is total dollar 118 billion but at the same time the export to china 
has significantly decreased or dropped dropped by 37.59 percentage totaling 17 dollar billion now we are going to see the reasons behind that trade deficit with china despite many measures still we are facing a trade deficit with china what will be the reasons the first major reason is narrow basket of commodities exported to china the explanation for this point is in the third point that is india is focusing more on export of raw materials such as iron ore cotton copper and aluminium but china is focusing more on manufacturing they are capable of producing a large scale of product at a low cost but india is not therefore it will create trade deficit the second major reason is market access impediments for agriculture product and competitive sectors that is indian agriculture products are facing a problem in accessing the chinese market but at the same time instead of manufacturing india is focusing on other sectors such as pharmaceuticals and information technology where china is also very strong therefore it will create trade deficit and we can see the final reason is the capability of china that is china is capable of producing a large scale of products at a, at a low cost that too with the help of high technology and machines therefore this product will overshadow the raw materials exported by raw materials exported by india and especially due to the large scale export of machinery power equipment telecom chemicals and fertilizers from china so these are the reasons behind the current trade deficit with the china so in this topic we discussed the current trend of indo chinese trade relation and how the large scale export of china is creating problems across the world so in this background we are going to discuss a prelims question the question is a assertion reason based question so the question is assertion the years following chinese entry into the world trade organization came to be known as china shock reason immediate cause as inexpensive chinese goods backed by abundant labor flooded global markets resulting in manufacturing job losses internationally which of the following are the correct option a assertion and reason are correct but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option b assertion is incorrect and the reason is correct assertion is correct and reason is incorrect and option d assertion and reason are correct but reason is the correct explanation of assertion the correct answer is option d assertion and reason both are correct and r is the correct explanation of a because we discussed that since 2000s followed by the china's entry into the world organization the india and other nations are taking strong measures to prevent the job loss occurred due to the flooding of chinese products in the global markets therefore the state assertion and reason both are correct and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion with this we are coming to the conclusion for today's newspaper analysis if you like the video hit the like and also give your feedbacks as comments and share this content with your friend and before leaving this channel don't forget to subscribe and to receive on-time update from shangarai's academy please hit the bell like thank you have a nice day